Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to share seven different businesses any teenager can start. Now, I did say seven businesses any tier teenager can start in the year 2021, but these businesses can be started by anybody out there. If you're in your 20s, in your 40s, in your 50s, you can start any of these seven different businesses. So let's get right into it. Now in today's video, I'm going to go through on how to actually get started and how to start these businesses, how to scale this business into the next level and how to basically make it your full time job and career. The first business idea we have is YouTube. Starting a YouTube channel can be hard, but if you can give some determination and hard work, then it can actually be a multi-million dollar business. We can name some of the biggest YouTubers out there like Mr. Beast, Dude Perfect, Graham Stephan. They make millions of YouTube per year and you can do the same if you just give it some hard work. Now how to start this business is just basically press record and just go in front of the camera and talk like I'm talking right now. Maybe edit the video better, maybe upgrade your uh, equipment, get a better camera, better lightning and everything like that to basically take it to the next level and grow this business into a million dollar business. I know I'm not a very big YouTuber but if you smash the subscribe button then I can be a big YouTuber and teach you how to do the same. But the first idea again is YouTube. Now a quick tip I have for people who want to start YouTube is to create content around things you really enjoy, around things you love. Because let's say you create content or let's say your favorite hobby is playing sports and you start creating content about cooking because that's what you are only able to do right now, that's okay but if you just focus on that, you're actually not gonna in the next three years when your channel let's say it's 100,000 subscribers and people are waiting for cooking tips and you want to go do sports because that's what you love it's not gonna really feel good and your audience are just gonna go away and you're just gonna go away because you don't love what you do now the second business is kind of weird because a lot of people will say this is not a business but it is flipping the flipping business is crazy yeah the flipping business and what I mean by this is you're gonna go find some stuff cheap and flip it for more expensive. This can be something very cheap like or something even free or something very expensive like a phone or even sometimes a car or sometimes even a house. I know I'm going way too far with this because I don't know how teenagers are gonna be able to flip cars and houses but flipping small products like a teddy bear or a computer or a phone can make you upwards of let's say $500 upwards of $1,000 per month that can go in your back pocket if you want it or anywhere else. Depends on where you want the money to go. So. Now how to start the flipping business again as I told you guys I'm going to show you guys how to actually start it is basically starting simple. Go on Facebook marketplace if you're living in America go on Craigslist find stuff that's cheap and then flip it. Take a screenshot put it for more expensive if someone's willing to buy it then you can sell it to them for more expensive so let's say you find a chair or a desk let's say a desk that's a better example a desk you find it for 20 bucks you put it for sale for 50 bucks someone buys it you buy it for 20 and give it to them for 50 but again if you want to take more risks you want to go to garage sales and basically buy everything that you think is going to sell more and sell more expensive then you can do that but that's more risky than just looking it online and seeing if it's actually going to sell more expensive now some good things that actually flip are phones tech basically anything in the technology niche that is new and working can flip good and that you can find cheap again other things like toys or maybe sometimes uh, mugs anything like that that can flip sometimes even books books can flip very easily as well you can either flip them on back onto facebook marketplace or into ebay or amazon now the third one is kind of confusing but it's drop shipping you might be wondering okay i'm a teenager how am i going to start a drop shipping business well here's the thing i did drop shipping back in 2018 it was now, a lot of you guys wouldn't believe me but i did i didn't make any sales okay don't come screaming at me say give us your numbers how much did you make i didn't make any sales i made the store I just couldn't afford to buy the domain and buy a short, uh, Shopify subscription. So that's how that business failed, the business of mine failed dropshipping. But how to start this again, you want to educate yourself. If you actually want to go dive deep in this, again, even if you're in your teens, you can still do this, but it does require some more legal documents and everything like that from your parents once you start making sales. But again, this business can be started with just some simple products that you can find cheap on AliExpress. If you want more videos on dropshipping, let me know in the comments down below. I'm willing to cover it more because I've tried this business. I know how hard it is. But if you want me to go more dive deep into it, let me know in the comments down below. Number four is an OG business and that is the car washing business. Now I haven't tried this personally because here in Australia we're in lockdown. I was going to try it for a video but 
not right now because we're in very heavy lockdown but the car washing business just start washing your neighbor's car around your neighborhood just go walk around and say i will wash your car even sometimes people say just start for free and then they will give you a tip of maybe 20 bucks 50 bucks sometimes even up to 100 dollars and then you can just keep going and then maybe sometimes charge but what i like to do is maybe charge i don't know 50 bucks between 20 to 70 bucks per car depending on how big the car is how well you can wash and if you're washing the interior and the ulterior together or just the ulterior and not the interior the fifth one is kind of similar to the first one and that is starting an instagram page or an instagram theme page what i mean by this again you probably have your own instagram page which i do i'll link it down in the description below you can go follow me dm me and we can talk and talk more business stuff but and in private talk more business stuff in private but starting a theme page that's not your personal page it's your theme page basically maybe the topic is cats the topic is dogs it's sport car flowers anything it can be any topic out there that you really enjoy and that you know you're not going to get tired of looking in this post and posting every single day sometimes even posting 10 posts maybe that's way too high three posts per day and not getting tired of it that's actually a good business you can start there's people who start a business just like instagram they don't get paid at the start but once they reach that over let's say a hundred thousand sometimes even over ten thousand people start asking them for shout outs start asking them for to promote their dropshipping page so what you can do with instagram again is you can create a page around a niche that you have a dropshipping website around and basically promote your own products for free so that's just a quick tip right over there you guys if you're so for getting some free value smash that like button and turn on the juicy subscribe button because i like to upload daily videos for you to help you on your business journey start making money save your money invest your money and basically become financially free so if you're into that turn on your bell notification and the sixth one is skill based business i know this may be kind of weird because you're like okay we've talked about a lot of skills throughout this video like maybe starting each channel you can talk about your skills but skill based business doesn't have to be very complicated maybe your skill is is amazing handwriting which I'm not into that category but if it is then what you can do is start just small so what are some good skills that people have maybe photography videography that's the two things I wrote down in my notes maybe you're very good at taking photos what you can do is start working on sites like Upwork and Fiverr and once you get big you can work with big companies like let's say you want you're a very good photographer you can work for a big real estate company that works all around your state or all around your country and you can make millions per year because you're just going to turn into a million or a company by just taking some photos that probably you're the best at and the seventh one we have is a very simple one as you guys probably know by the this video i've mixed some simple and some hard side hustles anybody can start and some difficult side hustles and the seventh one is a cleaning business now a cleaning business a lot of people are like okay i don't want to go up to someone and clean their shoes now it's not that you can go clean their driveway go clean their house can get paid some good money guys i know around here in australia people get paid upwards of 100 200 dollars for just cleaning someone's house like come on that only takes three hours and they make 300 dollars just by click of a finger i know that may sound very complicated but cleaning is not that hard you gotta put the hard work in it's probably hard but you gotta put the hard work in to actually good get good results so that was basically seven businesses any teenager or anyone out there in the world can start to start making some money if not turn it into a million dollar business hope you guys did get some free value again if you did turn on your bell notification because i upload daily videos to help you on your business journey and i'll see you in the next one peace out